And work now underway to get the public pool in South Troy open by the end of the school year. And this follows some controversy after the city closed its pools two years ago. John Craig has an update for us on the progress, and he joins us live in South Troy for a story you'll see first on 13. John. Hey, good afternoon, Jerry. You know, this pool holds over 200,000 gallons of water before they can. Here's the hose right here. Let me just show you. There it is. But it is uh, not hooked up, don't worry. Before they can put any water into this, they got a lot of work to do. Uh, you mentioned that the uh, pools itself have not been open for the last couple of years here and up in uh, Lansingburg. There is a lot of work. We, are, we took a literal, in depth look today for a pool that hasn't been overhauled in about 30 years. The concrete was a little more deteriorated and cracked than we thought. Cracked concrete, uneven surfaces, rusted tanks. Mayor Patrick Madden gave us an inside look into the early stages of getting the South Troy pool filled. When we removed the paint, we saw the condition of the concrete underneath. It was, uh, uh, it raised a little bit of a concern, but we think we have some uh, workarounds for that, and we think we'll be able to create a good product for the kids uh, while being mindful of the burden on the taxpayers. The contractor's been power washing, and with each layer stripped away, they found patches that were quick fixes. They say it could be redone completely and filled, or a new liner, which could last for 20 years. It would give us a good amount of time um, and uh, make this reinvestment in the pool, you know, it would give us two decades of use. But the most shocking was the pump room. Wraps and rust and a gap in the concrete that led to leaks. You can see the crumbling and the rust from the sand filter tank. This tank was so full of sand they had to empty it first. The next thing they'll do is cut it apart before they have to remove it to bring in more energy efficient filters. We are running water continuously for the six weeks that it was open uh, to make up for the leakage that was occurring. Uh, the pumps were failing, the pipes were leaking in the pump room. Mayor Madden's critics wonder why this wasn't open the past couple of years, but is now in an election year. He says it was a question of money and doing it right. This has to be paid for, and we had to do it in a way that was mindful of the burden on the taxpayer. So they are on track, they say, to get things going by July 1st. You got a lot of work to do before then, but uh, they, will, they say they will get that done. Now, in North Troy, that pool up in uh, Knickerbocker is unusable. They're looking for a new site there, and they're trying to find some alternatives for the summer events uh, for the kids in North Troy. We're live inside the South Troy pool, Jerry. John Craig, News Channel 13, back to you. Yes, John, and I would just advise you to make sure nobody turns that hose on while you're in there.